Hi, I'm Ashley. And I'm Suzanne. We're from the Water Resources Education Center in Vancouver, Washington. Today, let's explore Burnt Bridge Creek. We'll learn about its geologic history, the effects of stormwater, and how you can help preserve and enjoy Vancouver's most urban watershed. Located in southwest Washington and nestled along the banks of the Columbia River, the city of Vancouver stretches north and east into five different watersheds. However, most of the city lies within just two, the Columbia Slope and the Burnt Bridge Creek watersheds. The Burnt Bridge Creek watershed covers 28 square miles. 70% of this watershed lies within the city limits of Vancouver. Historically, the headwaters of the creek flowed through a wetland with no defined channel. But in the mid 1800s, that land was drained for agriculture. The creek now flows 13 miles west through both natural and human-made channels. After meandering through the heart of the city, Burnt Bridge Creek empties into Vancouver Lake where it contributes only two to 3% of the lake's total water input. Most of Vancouver Lake's water comes from Lake River, fed by Salmon Creek to the north. The ancient story of Burnt Bridge Creek plays an important role in the health of the watershed today. 17,000 years ago, a series of massive floods began inundating the Columbia River Basin. Known as the Missoula Floods, these waters roared down the river on their way to the lowest point, the Pacific Ocean. Walls of water over 300 feet high in the Columbia River Gorge approached what is now the town of Camas. Reaching the flatter land west of the Cascade Mountains, the water spilled into low-lying areas, including Round and Lacamas Lakes. A secondary channel, now the home of Burnt Bridge Creek, was found and redefined by these fast-flowing floodwaters. As the water slowed in this side channel, gravel, sand, silt, and clay were deposited on the landscape. The porous rock and sediment deposits helped create the large underground aquifers that store water and provide cities throughout Clark County with drinking water. In portions of the Burnt Bridge Creek watershed, groundwater can be found perched close to the surface. Shallow groundwater is susceptible to the same contaminants that migrate to the creek through rainwater runoff. Healthy wetlands and natural areas help protect both the creek and the nearby groundwater. As the city has grown, the land around the creek has been converted from natural areas to agricultural, urban, and industrial spaces. Only four to 10% of the watershed is forested land, while 58% is composed of impervious or hard surfaces like paved roads, parking lots, and rooftops. The reduction in trees and shrubs has had several effects. Along many portions of the creek, loss of trees has caused water temperatures to rise. Warmer water reduces dissolved oxygen. Dissolved oxygen is the form of oxygen used by aquatic animals to breathe. Macroinvertebrates and salmon are two types of animals that rely on dissolved oxygen. Macros are anchors of the aquatic food web. These insects live in the water for the first part of life and metamorph into adult land insects. They are important food sources for juvenile salmon and birds. Lower dissolved oxygen levels makes the water less habitable for these important insects and reduce the food availability for other animals. Another effect of the decrease in plants in the Burnt Bridge Creek watershed is erosion. Where there are few or no plants to hold the soil in place, dirt and other sediments muddy the water. This hinders keystone species like coho salmon from living and thriving in this watershed. The highly urbanized landscape allows stormwater to carry pollutants into tributaries and the creek itself. Urban lawn pesticides, agricultural fertilizers, leaking motor oil, and unbagged pet waste all contribute to unhealthy water and land. These pollutants directly affect the watershed and ultimately the creek. On 
all of us can contribute to the health of our watersheds. Limiting fertilizer and pesticide use on lawns and gardens helps keep toxic chemicals out of the water. Converting grass lawns to Pacific Northwest friendly pollinator gardens provides beneficial food and habitat for declining insect populations. Planting trees and shrubs helps the land absorb rainwater and prevents erosion. Picking up our pet's waste, washing our cars at a car wash instead of in the driveway, and proper maintenance of vehicles to prevent oil leaks all help stop pollution in its tracks and keep it out of our creeks. Community members and volunteers have contributed thousands of hours removing invasive plants from this watershed, restoring canopy cover by planting trees, and removing litter from the urban forests and streamside areas of Burnt Bridge Creek. Over the years, the Vancouver Public Works Sensitive Lands and Greenways team has done extensive work to improve the Burnt Bridge Creek Greenbelt. From wetlands restoration to planting trees, the team has worked to rehabilitate this important natural area. Walking along the trails of Burnt Bridge Creek offers a respite from the bustling urban life that encompasses this watershed. Mild year-round temperatures offer plant enthusiasts a chance to watch the cycles of the native plants from flower to fruit and then to seed. Thanks for watching and exploring the Burnt Bridge Creek watershed with us today. We hope you find some time to explore the beauty of our urban watershed in all the seasons. Join us next time as we tour the Washougal River Basin.